When most of us think about salt, we may look at the salt shaker on the table, but that's not where most of the salt in our diets hides. More than 75% of the sodium in our diets comes from processed foods. There are things you can do to avoid the so-called salty six. Registered dietitian Kayla Irvin Blackstock has some healthy tips on the menu. Kayla? Well, the American Heart Association now recommends that we aim to eat less than 1,500 milligrams of sodium in our diet. And in honor of National Heart Month, I would like to present to you the American Heart Association's Salty Six. And first up on that list is breads and rolls. Now, there is not very much sodium per serving in those breads and rolls, but it's because we eat multiple things throughout the day that consist of breads and rolls. So make sure that you're choosing a lower sodium option whenever you're looking at your food labels. And second on the list is cured and cold cut meats. A two ounce serving of cured meat and six slices of deli meat can contain half of the 1500 milligrams of sodium in your diet per day. And third on that list is our favorite, pizza. But because there's so much processed meats and processed cheese in that pizza, it's gonna contain 100% or more of your sodium per the day for that one slice. So next time you go out to eat, or if you're cooking from home, choose a pizza that is more vegetable contained and less cheese. And fourth on that list is poultry. And poultry, I know you think, well, there's not very much sodium in just a fresh chicken or turkey, but it's all about the preparation method. And so that poultry, if you're choosing a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store or pre-seasoned meat, it's gonna contain an excess amount of sodium. Fifth on the list is canned soups, and canned soups are almost toxic to our bodies because one cup of canned soup can contain from 100 milligrams of sodium to 940 milligrams of sodium, which is almost half of the recommended dietary intake of sodium. And lastly on that list is sandwiches. And I know you're thinking a homemade sandwich with fresh bread, low sodium deli meat, or a fresh chicken breast with lots of vegetables doesn't really contain a lot of sodium, but it's those fast food restaurant sandwiches like burgers and chicken sandwiches. So if you are going out to eat, go ahead and choose a half sandwich with a salad instead. So in honor of this salty six, I've chosen a fresh soup to make instead of those canned soups from the American Heart Association, a spicy vegetable soup. Instead of using the salt shaker, we're going to use fresh herbs and spices that include a little bit of paprika, basil, red wine vinegar and olive oil. And then instead of using those canned vegetables, we're gonna use fresh or frozen vegetables, such as one and a half cups of green beans, one and a half cups of your potatoes chopped and cooked before, a whole onion, four red plum tomatoes, a yellow squash, and chopped spinach. And then for the moisture of the soup, we're gonna use a low sodium vegetable broth. This soup contains less than half of the sodium what a canned soup will contain in sodium. And you can also freeze it in an airtight container and enjoy it whenever you would like to have it. Joe? Kayla, where can people get more information on the dish featured in today's segment? You can find all of these great recipes on WKNO.org or smartmedicine.tv.